So uh, the idea on the environments and, and uh, trying to create a Greek world was trying to create a feeling that uh, reminded you of, of Greece and that didn't feel too fantasy. So we were trying to walk that fine line between a, a fantasy game environment and a traditional Greek environment. And so part of it was, was again, trying to get stuff that made it feel Greek, not Roman, but Greek. Okay, when we first uh, start concepting of uh, environments, it wasn't really defined as levels, you know. We picked out the uh, important locations such as Pandora and Athens and Hades and all I knew is like the game should feel really big which means there's no like cramped area it's more like like challenge against the god and like huge monsters so the, the look of the environment should be like like huge you know so with each of the environments what we tried to do was um, kind of move you through the world using color uh, to kind of uh, help move Dave's story along and kind of emphasize the emotional uh, impact of, of what he was trying to, of the story he was trying to tell. But at the same time, if, if I've just come out of, of, of the ocean, uh, where I'm battling the Hydra, um, where we've got, in that case, you know, there's, there's more kind of greens and, and, and blues and things like that, uh, I don't want to go into that same uh, scenario color-wise again. Uh, it's like if I did the whole game in black and white, you'd get probably bored with it after a while. So one of the, also one of the interesting aspects, um, especially in the, um, in the Pandora section, was a lot of times you'll see multiple iterations on, on statues as well. And one of the reasons was that one of David's idea was he wanted those statues to come to life, whether it was Atlas or Poseidon rising out of the water. The things that were in that environment, the objects, um, the architecture, those types of things reflect what was going on again with David's story. Um, so in Pandora as an example, uh, that whole sequence is about uh, an architect who in David's mind is, is, is basically gone mad. And so the idea was this, the structures, the traps, the visual look of that should begin to reflect uh, kind, of a, kind of a madman in, in, in some instance. I did that piece even the level of the design wasn't solid yet. So, but my, my own uh, interpretation, I was thinking it's like things are like, there's no gravity, but at the same time, things are like kind of shifting all the time. And this infinite distance in the back, things are flying, falling, exploring. The mountain Olympus, that one, that one particularly, we don't, it's not, for the game art, it's more like, okay, we want to talk about Mount Olympus. So where's the image? That kind of thing. The goal of the, the world of God of War was really to create uh, a place that felt like, you know, a giant theme park ride, you know, or a, a giant set or one of these great high adventure movies and um, places that you'd really want to explore and, and spend time in and really feel like you were having this grand adventure. And I think these guys, you know, week after week continually uh, were able to come up with set pieces and ideas that they, they just top themselves constantly and continually and they've really given us this great world to play in and uh, I, I think they did an amazing job and I'm, I'm so grateful as a player that I get to actually play in this space.